the students we'll go with the next type of problem in the half range fourier series so the problem is obtain a half range cosine series for a function f of x equals to kx in the range 0 less than or equals to l by 2 that is 0 less than or equals to x less than or equals to l by 2 and k into l minus x in the range l by 2 less than or equals to x less than or equals to l so this is a problem where the given range is a arbitrary range and the function has been divided into two ranges so they have asked us to find for the half range cosine series and i have already in my previous video i have explained that if they say cosine series means we are going to assume that the function is even and hence we are going to take bn equals to 0 we are going to compute for a naught and a n directly now since your given range is a arbitrary range that is 0 to l we need to find the l value and already discuss whenever we are finding for the half range okay series that time l value will be computed as l is equals to upper limit minus the lower limit here upper limit is L and lower limit is 0. So here L minus 0 is L. We are observing that L has come equals to L. So we need to compute now A0. So what is A0 formula? A0 formula is 2 by L integral 0 to L f of x dx. I cannot substitute f of x directly as my range is 0 to L and I don't have the function directly defined in the range 0 to L. If you observe the given function is been divided into two ranges from 0 to L. So that is 0 to L by 2 and L by 2 to L. So I will divide this integral into 2 as 0 to L by 2 f of x dx plus L by 2 to L f of x dx. In the range 0 to L by 2 the function is what kx as per given l by 2 to l it is k into l minus x k is acting as a constant you will remove outside the integral sign remains here x similarly removing k outside the integral here remains only k or if you see in both the integrals k is common you can totally take out full k outside and then integrate with respect to x so integration of x is x square by 2 limits ranging from L, uh, 0 to L by 2. Here minus sign is there so I need to integrate it separately. L is acting as a constant and integration of a constant is with respect to x is x. That means integration of L with respect to x is Lx. Minus integration of x is x square by 2 limits ranging from L by 2 to L. After integrating we need to simplify the signs if necessary or else substitute the upper limit minus the lower limit. This k I have kept it as it is. I have opened a bracket. Upper limit is L by 2. So this will become L square by 4. This 4 when it comes down it will become 8 because 2 4s are 8. So L square by 8. Lower limit is 0 so minus 0 plus k as it is upper limit is l l into l is l square minus l square upon 2 this is upper limit minus lower limit is l by 2 into l it will become l square by 2 minus l by 2 the whole square will become l square by 4 and that 4 and this 2 will become 8 try to simplify the brackets by multiplying k inside k into l square by 8 k into l square minus k into l square by 2 minus k into l square this k is for all the terms inside the bracket so simplifying by taking the lcm here 8 is the lcm we will get our a naught after simplification as 2 k l upon 4 next we are going to compute for a naught so a naught formula is a n is equal to 2 by L integral 0 to L f of x cos n pi x upon L dx. Again I cannot substitute L value or that is f of x in the range 0 to L because the function has been divided into two intervals. So I am dividing the interval into two. 
राइटिंग हेयर एफ ऑफ एक्स एस के एक्स इन द रेंज जीरो टू एल बाई टू इन द रेंज एफ ऑफ एक्स इट इज के इन टू एल माइनस एक्स इन बोथ द इंटीग्रल्स के इज कॉमन सो यू कैन टेक होली कॉमन के एंड राइट दिस एज इन दिस मैनर हेयर एल इज इक्वल टू एल सो एवरीवेयर एल इज रिमेनिंग द सेम Applying Bernoulli's rule here, product of two functions it is. So apply Bernoulli's rule here. Similarly, it is a product of two functions. Apply Bernoulli's over here. X as it is. Integration of cos is sine n pi x upon l upon n pi. Leaving x, you have to write the coefficient of x in the denominator. Minus derivative of x is one. One upon n pi by l is acting as a constant, so write it as it is. Integration of sine is minus cos of n pi x upon l upon n pi upon l. Derivative has turned out to constant, so write your limits zero to l by two. Followed with the plus sign, apply Bernoulli's rule for this. So l minus x as it is. Integration of cos is sine. Followed with the minus sign. Derivative of now we have to differentiate it separately because minus sign is there. Derivative of l is zero. Derivative of x is one. So zero minus one, and one upon n pi by l will remain as it is. Integration of sine will become minus cos n pi x upon l. Limits ranging from l by two to l. I am stopping the procedure because derivative has turned out to constant. Simplifying the signs before we substitute the limits, so two k by l will remain as it is. This l will come in the numerator, so x l upon n pi sine n pi x upon l minus into minus it is plus l into l is l square upon n square pi square cos n pi x upon l. Limits ranging from zero to l by two. This l will come above, so l minus x into l upon n pi. sin of n pi x upon l minus 0 minus 1 is minus 1 minus of minus it is plus plus into minus is minus l into l is l square n pi into n pi it is n square pi square cos n pi x upon l limits ranging from l by 2 to l now substituting the upper limit minus the lower limit i'll open a flap bracket open a square bracket open a open press bracket For the upper limit, l by two. This will become l by two. That is l square upon two n pi. L by two. When I substitute here, l l will get cancelled. I am remained with sine n pi by two. Plus l square upon n square pi square will remain as it is. L by two. When you substitute, l l will get cancelled. Cos n pi by two. This is upper limit. Minus the lower limit is zero. Zero into anything is zero. Here zero, so this will become cos zero l square upon n square pi square. This is upper limit minus the lower limit of the first integral. So here close the bracket, followed with the plus sign. Again remove a square bracket and substitute upper limit. What is the upper limit now? L l minus l is zero, so this term is zero. Here l upon l will become one. So I am remained here with zero minus l square. Zero minus l square upon n square pi square cos n pi upper limit minus the lower limit. Now what's the lower limit? L by two. So l minus l by two will become l by two when I take the LCM and simplify. Okay, l by two. Here l by two when you substitute l l will get cancelled. So here l square upon two n pi upon into sine n pi by two. L by two when I substitute here I'll get L square n square pi square cos n pi by two which I have written over here. So now simplifying the terms, L square upon two n pi sine n pi by two and minus L square upon two n pi sine n pi by two will get cancel. L square n square pi square cos n pi by two, L square upon n square pi square cos n pi by two it will become two L square Upon n square pi square cos n pi by two, and the remaining terms cos zero is one, cos n pi is minus one raised to n. Simplifying the terms, writing for the Fourier series that is cosine half range series, we will get our required series.
थैंक यू